you as a button, baby. Yeah, I wanna see all my people win, and we know that. I love you, then I got you to the end, and you know that. Everybody used to show me love, where it go at? I was born to shine, I speak my mind and get that glow back. Try to pay my dues, but niggas rather say you owe that. Every time. Brown skin. You know I love your brown skin. I can't tell when yours begins. I can't tell when mine ends. No, no, no. Brown skin. Up against my brown skin. Need some every now and then. Every now and then. So brown, lips so round, round, round. Baby, how can I be down? Beautiful mahogany, hope I make you feel like a queen. Wrapped in your brown skin, brown skin, skin, brown skin, brown. Pressed against my brown skin Beautiful mahogany Hope I make you feel like a queen Wrapped in your brown skin Greetings, my kindreds. This video is sponsored by Janota Wig. In this bag, they sent a wig cap, an edge brush, lashes, a scarf. They even sent a paddle brush and directions on how to maintain the unit. This is a 26 inch, 180% density, straight unit, 13 by four, natural black wig. It was only $390. And I'm about to do a quick like install for you guys. Yeah, I'm about to go ahead and get myself together. I actually am running extremely behind. Um, I haven't even done my hair yet. So I'm about to go ahead and just toss my hair back into a bun and install this um, unit that this company has sent me and um, do my makeup and hopefully, hopefully I can do this in a timely manner and not have the girls wait on me. I'm with your head, boy, you must be a 
So yeah, this wig is a 13 by four in the middle and like a 13 by two on the sides. It's definitely given my kindreds what it needs to give. If you guys are looking for an affordable wig, go ahead and check them out. I'm gonna leave everything down below in the description box. So I was actually able to get a side part in, which is like pretty cool, especially since it's being like that 13 by two on the sides type situation. But yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling cute. I'm about to go outside and have fun with my girls because I haven't seen them all weekend. And yeah, I'll see y'all a little bit later. <laughs> Oh, it's giving cute. It's giving. Oh my god, they look so good. Oh, it's giving sexy. Come through, baby. What in the world? Now she's talking about some mom. No, you giving. You giving. I'm going to my. That's cute. That's Gucci fine because it's short and just Gucci. Ooh, yes. Oh, the earrings. The earrings. The, yeah. I mean the. The rings. Yes, the rings. Oh, y'all look cute. Let's take these pictures so we can go upside. I need a drink. Good morning, my Kendras. I came to Sweat House again um, because I feel like I've been drinking a lot of alcohol lately and I really need to sweat all of that stuff out of me. I'm going on a cleanse, so or like a detox, right? But um, I came a little too early, so my last schedule till nine is is like eight twenty-five. So I'm gonna walk to Starbucks because it's right here, just chilling here for a little bit. Oh, there's actually a Barnes and Nobles. I wonder if that's open. This street is so busy. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to cross this street. Damn, why she didn't advise me to cross the street back then? God damn it. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to cross the street. Jesus fucking Christ. We're gonna try today. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit, we made it. Now we made it, y'all. Safely across this busy street. Good morning. Is it impossible? Yeah. An impossible sandwich, right? Yes, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Uh, not nice. Thank you. I'm so tired. <laughs> so I can make me a lunch. It's giving stuff same. I've been cooking a lot lately, which I've been enjoying. But I think I'm going to make stuff salmon. But I want, I don't know if I want 
sides or if I should just make a salad. Because I'm thinking about making some big, like some potatoes, some little baby round potatoes, and some snow peas. But I don't know. I don't know. We should be watch the sheep. We watch the sheep. Yesterday I improvised and I made, what did I make yesterday? I made some kind of like stir fry chicken and shrimp, kind of, but with noodles and like this Asian sauce. It was so good. And I had like a side of strawberries and I made me a um, virgin drink. <laughs> no, it was literally just um just i gotta stop doing it i don't need to have sugar and everything but it was just grapefruit like grapefruit soda um which is like very tart and i just put like some simple syrup in there and some lime juice it was so good though oh my god it's so good so yeah that's what i'm doing right now this morning was great productive and after i'm finished eating i'm going to edit the vlog Go through my emails and um, order some more inventory. And yeah, that is the plan for today. Is to just work, 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 work. It's the me and be work, 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 work. This is the piece that you cannot buy. Send me a love that you cannot see. I don't feel like washing all of these dishes right now because I'm gonna have to wash dishes when I'm finished eating. So I'm thinking to just like wash what I need and then finish washing the rest of them when I'm done eating. Cause baby, I'm tired. Even though I had like a productive, relaxing morning, it made me really tired. And I feel like my face looks extremely full right now. My face looks extremely puffy. And I hate that. I really, 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 really hate that. So annoying. This is the piece that you can look for. Send me a lot that you cannot fix. Look, I feel like I'm washing these dishes. I might as well just finish it. Might as well just finish it. But I'm not doing nothing special right now, so I'm not gonna hold y'all up. I will talk to y'all a little later. Or I'll show y'all my food when I'm done cooking it. And then I'll talk to y'all later. I'm being a little boring right now. Okay, 
so I had to re-slay this hair. Why the blur? Cut! Shit, y'all running dead. Okay, so I had to reinstall this wig and do my makeup. I'm about to go meet my friend Brandy. Look, I almost forgot about y'all. I'm about to go meet my friend Brandy. She just came back from Columbia. She was gone for like an entire month. So we're about to um, hang out and yeah. I would do an outfit check, but my Uber is outside. I'll do an outfit check later, but that's a little sneak peek. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> And then I have like this like bag. This used to be my mom's like a long time ago. So I have it. I'm just gonna like hold it like this. So this is the outfit of the day, repeating a dress, and then have this little like fun summer bag. Ooh. Come on. Crazy thing. Now they be calling. You know, now they be calling her dog a bitch. Hi. Okay, she is a bitch. She's calling her dog a bitch. I told her, I said, your dog has your personality. <laughs> so her dog acts just like her. <laughs> How does it look so cute? And we complimented, we complimented each other, so that's good. At first I had on that black dress, I was like, this is too pretty outside. You can have it on black. So, like. What did you put this glitter on with? Huh? What you put this, what kind of glitter is it? The gold stuff? Mm -hmm. I just put it on the corner of my eyes. I just unplugged that if you want to plug it back. I know it's cut the mess over there. But um, I use the glitter just on the corner of my eyes. But you can use it on your cheeks if you want or your chest if you want. I'm Actually, I might put some on my goddamn chest. No, I'm all right, fuck it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cute. My butt is a little rusty. Rusty? Oh, you need oil? Yeah. Or like that, that jar, that West, I mean, that safari jar? Yeah. That stuff is like really good. Really good. And it good. smells good. Yeah. Ooh, your cheek, yes! How you like your cheeks like this? Damn! Yeah, yeah, that jar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it smells good. If you like the sound. How you don't wear your cheeks out in there, Rusty? Makes it cheap. Yeah. Don't wear your rusty cheeks. I like. Who is it? I was about to call you too, that's so funny. We outside again. But not till two o'clock in the morning, oh, cause we're gonna have a very productive week. No, it's great. No, but our outside is. Oh. That my best friend, she a real bad bitch, got her own money. She don't need no nigga on the dance floor. She had two, three 
game, say she twerking. She throw it out and come back in. That's my best friend. She a real fat bitch, drive her own car. She don't need no diff in a strip club. No, my girl gon' take her. She's gonna do it out and come back in. Good morning, y'all. It is currently 7 o'clock in the morning. 7 o'clock in the morning. No, it's currently 7 o'clock in the morning, and I am just trying to get my life together. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just trying to get my life together right now. Um, I'm putting away clothes, and I don't even know why I bought this. I hate when I do stuff like this. So, like, I've seen this everywhere, like on Instagram. And, well, it was for this all-white party. I was, like, looking for something all-white to wear. And I knew damn well that I wasn't going to wear this because nine times out of ten, somebody there would have had this on. But I bought it anyways. Obviously, never wore it. And I don't know what to do with it because I know I'm never going to wear it. So I think I'm actually going to do a, um, I think, because I need to clean my closet. Like, I need to clean my closet out because I got, like, a lot of stuff in there. And it's hard for me to organize because I ain't got room for all that stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is, uh, clean my closet out and put pieces like this maybe do like a video on here and of stuff like this and post it for sale for like five ten dollars because a lot of stuff like I don't know and I have like a lot of stuff that I haven't worn before and I have stuff that I've only worn once but the piece is so loud that I'm not gonna wear it again <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm gonna do that that's coming soon stay tuned and follow NLSA wardrobe if you don't I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a little bit more active up there. But yeah. So that's what I'm doing right now. Just putting away clothes. After that, I'm going to um plan out content for the rest of the week. So I already kind of like have an idea of like everything that I have to do, but I just need to get down to the nitty-gritty and plan actually my just week from like the time I wake up to the time I need to take my ass to bed. A super random topic but how y'all feel about how y'all feel about dating how y'all feel about women dating multiple men how y'all feel about it that's a serious question that's a serious question I don't know that's that's just like us, like, I'm, I'm like so serious when I ask my dad, how do y'all feel about that? Um, and like, what does that entail? Or, matter of fact, my damn phone, hold on. I feel like, I feel like you should definitely be able to date multiple people as long as it's known that you're dating multiple people. Like, but I don't know. From a from a woman's from a from another woman's standpoint, is is do, since you're only dating, I mean it's not like you're um being intimate or in a relationship with like these people. Do they have to know that you're dating other people? Like does they have to be a topic of discussion? Or can that just be like a maybe she is, maybe she isn't. Or maybe he is, or he most likely is. But maybe she is, maybe she isn't. But that's not my concern. My concern is her. That's how I feel. I feel like there should be a maybe she is, maybe she isn't. But I don't care because uh, I'm, I am, um, I am uh, courting her, or I am interested in her, or I am trying to, you know what I'm saying? Like, huh. so I, I, you know, I don't think that there's nothing wrong with dating other people. I've noticed too that that I've noticed that I need some more hangers, which means I need to get rid of clothes because I got so many hangers in there, and to for me not to have no hangers to hang up the rest of my stuff. 
But I've also noticed that being able to like date multiple men has definitely um, partaked in helping build my self confidence up again. Like, you know, being able to communicate, being able to voice my opinion, being able to flirt, you know. I don't know, it's just helped me. It help it helps Stella get her groove back. You get what I'm saying? And it's also I really need some more hangers. I don't even know. This is why I get discouraged with like putting away clothes. Because I don't have enough hangers, though I have a lot of hangers. Like nothing. There's no reason why I should not have no hangers. That's it. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to fix this. But yeah, and it's also too like dating multiple people um, has at the same time <laughs> has also helped me not, it helped me not tolerate bullshit because I got to, you know, like in my, y'all know, in my previous relationship, I dealt with a lot of bullshit. <laughs> I dealt a lot of crap, right? And that was because, you know, one, I was married, and then two, you know, I thought like, you know, you, this is my, this is my person, like, this is the, my only person, so like, no one's perfect. I always just like made excuses. But, you know, me now, and having options, it's kind of like, when you see some effery happening, y'all, my wig is lifting, don't do it. But it's early morning. But when you see some every happening, it's it's not hard. It's very very much easy actually for me to be looking at the person like next, cause my other guy ain't doing this. So I got put up with this next, and just keep it moving and keep it pushing. So I don't know. Those are to me. Those are my two big perks of being able to really date multiple. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I just wanted to get y'all opinion because, you know what I'm saying? To each is on, right? Oh, this is my mom's shirt. To each is on. So, I just want to get you guys' perspective on what that looks like for you or what y'all think the pros and cons of dating multiple people is. You know, and when I say dating, I literally just mean dating. That's another thing, too. Dating multiple... If you do decide to, to uh, date multiple men, don't let it be all in one city. Don't do that. You gotta have hoes in different area codes, okay? <laughs> you gotta have hoes in different area codes because y'all know the world is small. And it's even smaller when everybody in the same city. So, um, I definitely don't operate like that you know you got people in people in, uh, I got people in New York I got people in DC I got people in Florida I got people in Ohio I got people in Atlanta and I got a new little thing in California <laughs> I got a new little thing in California so what's that DC Florida Ohio, New York, Atlanta, and California. I have six, six people on the roster right now. And I care for them all. I mean, I mean, obviously one more than others, some more than others, but I care for them all. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just kidding, you know. It's just innocent, innocent fun. <laughs> Now, until one of them, you know, come to me and they then they say like, "Oh, Najee, you know, I'm 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 really been enjoying our, you know, relationship, and I want to take things to the next level. Like, I just want us to focus on each other and be together. Then that's different. Um, but no one has done that. No one has stepped up to the plate yet. No one really needs to right now either. 
um, to be quite honest. I'm definitely not in a position to do that right now. But um, until that happens, I'm free to date all my mans. <laughs> I'm free to date all my mans until that happens. <laughs> That was just a little random rant. Literally a little random rant. Hey Google, play. I literally just made it back home. I had went to the post office. But this is why I don't like going to the post office. By um peach tree like circle thing or whatever where like the tj makes and stuff is it in alta because one is only one person that's in there and two half the time they don't be there so when i got there no one was there and it was like it was like one it was like 140 it said that it wouldn't be back until it was like a little note that was like oh i won't be back until 215 like damn why is there only one person that works there? But um, yeah, so I ended up going to Ulta next door because I need to do this try on haul and stuff and I need my boot tape. So I ran out of boot tape, so I had to go get some boot tape. And they had like a dark tone boot tape. Look, I'm like, is this gonna match me? I mean, it don't really matter because you're not gonna see the damn tape. So I got me some boot tape from um, Ulta. Where's my receipt? Let me see how much this stuff was. My bio, my bio. Well, I don't know where my receipt is at, but oh, I had an email to me. So I got some tape. I ended up getting um, re upping on my Urban Decay setting spray because I haven't had any in a while, actually. And then I got this uh, Tree Hut sugar scrub. I really like their stuff. They have like, their, their scents smell, smell really good. It's my first time trying this one. And this one is definitely giving me like, high-end perfume vibes. Like, I love it. So I had to re-up with my scrub. And um, yeah, so after that, I was gonna come home, but I was like, what am I gonna eat for lunch? Because I haven't eaten today and I'm starving. So I ended up just like, going to Trader Joe's and picking up some food. I, like when I, as soon as I walked, cause I didn't know what I was gonna get and my Uber was waiting outside still. But as soon as I walked in Trader Joe's, I was like, I want chicken pesto. So <laughs> I said, oh! So I, as soon as, like literally, as soon as I walked in, I saw this um, flatbread at the front. So I got me some garlic flavored flatbread, but I'm also gonna season it myself. And I had to re-up on my mozzarella cheese. So I had just got like some mozzarella cheese and then some spinach and then chicken. And then I got some uh, pesto sauce cause I felt like I didn't have any at home. Let me check. And I was right, I didn't have any pesto sauce at home. So I'm so glad. So I got my pesto sauce, my chicken. I also got some more bananas cause my bananas were bad, I had to throw them out. So I'm going to, damn, do I have tomatoes? <laughs> Please. Please have some tomatoes. Okay, I got some tomatoes left. And uh, so I got my spinach, I got onions, I got peppers, I got, yes, I got everything that I need to make my chicken pesto vibrate. I don't have any chips. Well, actually I do. I have some Pringles left and I got some tortilla chips. So I'm good. I'm about to make a bomb ass lunch right now, y'all. Cause I am so starving, it don't make no sense. It's what, almost three o'clock? Let me see. I've been up all morning. It is three o'clock, it's 3.07, I have not eaten yet. I gotta do better by myself. Or be better to myself, because I really be like, out here not eating. So, that's what we're about to do right now. Let me show y'all how I make my chicken pesto flatbreads. <laughs> Leaving me, dipping out on me already. Gave you what you needed, I guess, quickly. Learned yourself through me already. Gave you what you needed, I guess. I guess. So I'm not with nobody, cause I don't wanna hurt nobody. Did it over? Didn't call me, still got 
my life for you, Bobby. I know you wanna be somebody, even if you gotta leave somebody. Yeah. Yes, I'm hurting, yes, I'm jaded. Most of these things I don't wanna say. I don't wanna be around while you chasing. You wanna hit me up when you make it. Hold on. You tryna come back when you famous. Yeah. I always want the truth, but it's dangerous. You got something real, no basic. You wanna get with me, stop. Yes, I'm hurting, yes, I'm jaded. Most of these things I don't wanna say. I wanna be around while you chasing. You wanna hit me up when you make it. You tryna come back when you're famous. Okay, so this is how my lunch turned out. I cooked it a little bit longer than I wanted to, but it's. I'm not like I'm not mad at it. Extra crispy, okay? Extra crispy. So this is a chicken pesto flatbread thing that I don't know something. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert the clip of the reels that I created. But this is the flatbread with um, I seasoned it with like onion powder and garlic powder and a little bit of salt. And then in the inside is the pesto sauce. And then there's spinach. The seasoned chicken with tomatoes and onions and some, these little things are snow peas and some mozzarella cheese and then I have my wine over there and then my dessert look I have like these little chocolate bites with ice cream and then my potato chips so yeah that's lunch right there and I'm about to like I like to edit as I go like I like to edit my vlogs as I go so I'm about to insert these clips right now that I'm like recording and edit. And then after I eat, I'm going to do my hair and do my makeup. And then we're gonna like play around with like TikTok and reels and stuff. And then I also have to incorporate this brand um, in the end that they sent me some of their pieces and they want me to share with you guys. So I'm excited about that. I haven't like opened up the package yet or tried to close on yet. So I'm excited, we shall see. Um, but yeah, I'm about to enjoy my food, edit, you know, vibe out for a little bit and then get back to work <laughs> all right my kindred so before i close out this vlog i want to do a dedicated channel call segment for you guys so this company diana which is black owned and established in 2014 their their agenda is to produce modern african inspired clothing which i think is pretty dope so when their influencer coordinator reached out to me and asked if i can introduce the brand to my kindred i was like Hell yeah. So, Kindreds, when you order your new fit from Dianu, this is what it's going to come in. This is like a um, suede bag, really nice with their gold logo, which is really nice. So, I'm definitely going to be like reusing this bag because um, it's definitely given reusable. And we're going to do a quick unboxing. Look, a quick unboxing. I'm so excited though. I'm loving the prints. The prints is giving me everything. Really cute. This color is fabulous. Okay, so this is a top. Oh, this is a wraparound top. In extra small. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to try this on. And it feels, and it doesn't have a smell. <laughs> Look, some clothes have smells. This does not have a smell. And it feels really good. And then let's see, is, is this shorts, pants, or skirt? Mm -hmm. Two in an extra small, which is perfect. And these are shorts. So it's gonna be a matching set of like a crop tie top and some shorts. What's this? exactly what this is because I honestly don't know what this is. It looks so small. Oh, maybe it's a top. 
Well, why would it be a top? I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I'll have to look that up. And then, let's see what this is. This is a small medium. Ooh, I'm hoping this isn't gonna be too big. A small medium typically sounds like it's gonna be big. This is a, I don't know. Oh, this isn't gonna be big, cause this is like a kimono type. So we might have to pair this with like some shorts or some shorts or even wear it as a dress. Matter of fact, we about to freak this, my Kendra's. Let me try this on. I'm so glad that I bought my boot tape because both these outfits are gonna require some boot tape. So I'm gonna try this on and I'll be right back. Ooh, I look cute as a button. It's giving cute as a button. I absolutely love this. So this top is obviously a like crap wrap around top. I wrapped it around like twice and I had to like take the boobs up. But the sleeves, the sleeves on this baby is giving me all the life. These matching shorts are so cute. They're an extra small. The top is an extra small and the bottoms are an extra small. But the, um, the waist was a, a, still too big for me. So I had to like pin it in the back. Which is fine, I'll just get it tailored. But this is so cute. I feel like I feel like I belong on Young African Fabulous. You know that Netflix show on Netflix? You know that reality show on Netflix? Oh my god. It's giving me all the life. <laughs> I'm loving it. Very, 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 very cute. The color, it's the color for me. It's the color and the print. The color is screaming nausea, it's screaming summer, it's screaming fun. I cannot wear I cannot wait to wear this. I'm not, I'm gonna wait to take a picture in it because I was like, I should probably like take a picture tonight in one of these outfits, but no, I'm going to, I can't wait. I don't know where to yet, but this outfit is gonna get worn, okay? Yeah, I just have to like get that um, stitch in the back, but this is so cute. I absolutely love this. On a scale of one through 10, it's giving a 10.5. That's how cute this is, I love this, so. Yeah, I'm gonna obviously link everything down below in the description box, but girl, girl. Ah, let me try to do like a reels real quick too. Now this is outfit number two. This is so absolutely pretty to me. This is a small medium and it fits perfectly. You can either wear this with some denim jeans or some black pants, some denim shorts. Or you can wear it as a wraparound dress like I'm wearing it right now. This is so cute. I have to give my kudos to Vianu because, baby, you are delivering, okay? Modern African-inspired clothing, you have nailed it. This is beautiful. I am so in love and I cannot wait to wear this to like an event or something like that. It's definitely given like, I don't know, an event. Like, I don't wanna just like wear this just out. I mean, you can, obviously, you definitely can. Like, it's giving like Sunday brunch vibes, you know, um, vacay vibes, but I wanna wear this to like an event. I wanna dress this up, put on some beautiful accessories. I'm gonna most likely wear my hair up and, you know, oil up my body, put some glitter on me, you know, this is what it's giving. And I absolutely love how it has pockets. I love like when posing, putting like one hand in a pocket, and just like, I don't know if, if y'all follow me on Instagram or not, but a lot of times I have like a lazy hand going on in my pictures. So like you'll see me posing like this, or like this, or sometimes I'll just be like this. You know, I like to play like, I like to be soft with my hands. So it definitely helps to have like one hand in a pocket and just like posing. Like I'm loving this. I'm so happy. Oh my God, it's so cute. Thank you. So yeah, that definitely wraps up this vlog. It's that's that's how you that's how you end a vlog, okay? This is how you end a vlog. I'm feeling very much luxury right now. I'm feeling very much like just beautiful and like fabulous. Like I'm just loving it. So yeah, that is it. Um, I'm gonna link everything down below, obviously in the description box. Um, don't forget to check it out. Um, give this video a thumbs up, like, comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye yeah i want to see all my people win and we know that i love you then i got you to the end and you snow that
Everybody used to show me love, where it go at? I was born to shine, I speak my mind and get that glow back